Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to an Exo Force review, and this one's on the Striking Venom from 2006. So I'll move it off to the side. And we'll move on to the two mini clips that are, or a couple of the mini clips included with this. First up, we which have one certain a uh, robot veterans, which comprises the huge, a couple of the usual pieces for it, but however, the main body piece is like in gold mixed with black, which is quite cool, quite interesting for that. Arm pieces in gold, quite cool. And then the only other mini fig right here is the usual robots, which come in a few other sets of the line. And of course, wielding the old style uh, uh, blaster bit there, of course. And interesting, I uh, was showing one of these things where you get not just this one, but actually, but actually about six of this one in this set. But there's a few reasons for that, which I'll go over later. But there's also a silver one included in this set, but which I'll show later. But yeah. And as usual, you have like about six points of movement for the shoulders, elbow, or shoulders, ankles, and hips. But also, and like all these, have a red piece to make the eyes work out, but some of which kind of just don't. And why there's these, these little clip pieces for this one? Well, there's a reason for that, which I'll also show later, but yeah. So I guess that's about it for those two mini things. And now on to the striking venom itself. So this as you see quite large and quite cool. Like for the price that it was at the time, fifty dollars, this was the best example of what you could get for that much. But although, whereas nowadays, for something that's worth $50, which quite a lot smaller than that, but this is kind of a sign of the times, but yeah. Okay, hang on. And so now, on to the head area, which, as you see, it's kind of like a robot head kind of bit, but with the support pieces used as extra, extra guns to it, and also like the uh, Thunder Fury or uh, Fire Vulture, well, one of the two, which do have this like uh, uh, side four brick to them with a bunch of binocular pieces on, acting as several gun barrels, like a mini gaffler on the side in front. Does it have some technic bits to it? holding the Bronco Borok eyes onto it, and also the campy piece like we've seen with the uh, Lego Life on Mars line, but with some different printing to it. It's kind of nice to see it used there. And get plenty of open space, but not at all any control panel onto it. Kind of weird, but uh, hang on. Or right, looking downwards, and enough space to fit your lead uh, golden uh, robot meaning fig into uh, hang on which is kind of hard to do let's do that and fits in nice and securely and as for this upper section which another one of those can be pieces but with some interesting print on it as well and also some more of those pieces acting as other gum barrels that to clip up and down and rotate in and outwards. So, and as for these legs of which, of which same kind of issue or same kind of thing as like a uh, Scopio XV1 in 2009 uh, Bionicle Gatorian Legends vehicle sets once did is have to build the same thing like four times in a row and put them all together for that. So that's kind of frustrating for that. But however, for the leg bits themselves, which attached on by those same exact 
uh, ratchet joint pieces that came with the Scopio X V1 set. Where you click that works and it's like so. It is for the upper section, may comprise the usual technique beams to it and also those large uh, jagged slope pieces, but with some like edging to them, which we later see in power miners, of course. And also there's a huge curved slope piece with a large sticker on it. And of course, and then get plenty of dark green places. So at least you get plenty of good dark green included in this set. And also for these Technic bits here, with one bit sticking out is where you can fit your robot minifigs onto, of course, probably to make, and you can like set it down like that. So you can make them deploy outwards like that. But also on each leg, also get those corner jagged slopes with also with some stickers with the robot symbol on it and also with different symboling on it. And then down below is mostly the like scoop bits from most Lego City excavators. And of course represent like cloth bits on kind of feet on a good use of those pieces there. And now back onto this center section with those campy pieces moved out. You can see a couple more robots, but with their uh, mines or mines plugged into these uh, cylinder pieces there. Or probably to help power it a bit. And then some more of it that leads to this tower bit in the center. And if you look underneath this, if you notice this green bit, turn on that and it makes this turn to turn in different directions. And then has a few bits to it and a the silver uh, robot there, but as, but just as part of the build, of course. And have a lot more of those like support pieces as larger gaffler gaffle guns, of course. And also like most XO4 sets have this clear tube piece which leads to this light brick that comes in some of the sets. And if you can barely notice that kind of lights up just a slight bit. Which goes to that fiber optic cable and into his eyes. Kind of hard to see on camera. And also do get some technique bits onto that and they lead to this little launcher bit which is used on some of the other sets. And how you get that to work is oh, whoops. that you can like pull on this little lever bit here and fires right off. And here's one of the disc pieces of how they look. And you can just load them back up like so. So those are which quite fun features, quite a fun one. That's for the side bit, so some more of that again. And for the back section, which as you can see, not much going on. Well, with this other campy piece out of the way, not much of anything else going on. All you could fit a couple other robots onto there if you wanted. Also, plenty of hollow space, probably to make it easy to afford or with, or yeah. Oh, whoops. And also, if you notice, some spots are kind of gappy. That I think should have included like a few other or, uh, pieces to fill in those gaps. But although that would have bumped the price up a bit more, but although you can mod it with some of your own pieces if you wanted to do that, so yeah. Oh, also forgot to mention with each leg is that also have the clear yellow uh, silicone pieces, which can probably fit your robot's minifigs feet onto it, and 
and don't come off and flop off quite as easily. What do you think? Yeah. <coughs> and so now for my overall verdict. This, I think, really cool, good, fun set for it. Like, you get a whole bunch of robot minifigs in it, of course, and also a lot of dark green, and also a quite substantial good build for what it is, but yeah. And also, of course, you get plenty of good mockable pieces to it, and I'm sure that back in 2006, it was a, gr it was a great cool set and still hold, kind of holds up today, but although maybe kind of gappy, but still livable, of course. And of course, although there's a little bit of repetition with each of the legs, but at least they do provide a good parts packs as uh, for Technic beams, of course. But for aside from that, still a good, great set for what it is, but yeah. And, and so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, wherever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.